after that, we move on to Liverpool's game, their match yesterday against Norwich City. Norwich, to my mind, one of the sweetest moving sides in the whole of the first division. And really, they're almost up there amongst the pacemakers themselves. But could Norwich now send Liverpool tumbling? Or could Liverpool recapture the form that brought them six beautiful goals against Hamburg in midweek? Here we go then with Norwich against Liverpool, the pictures from Anglia Television, the commentators Jerry Harrison with Liverpool in the all-red strip. Knocked it down for him. And got it back. Well, he's got time to turn. Get one over. Smith. If that was meant, it was brilliant, but I don't think it was. Comes straight to Kaysa. Bond is going up for this. Ryan gets it back to him. Now, Fairclough putting pressure on Jones. And he's got it off him, Fairclough, there, with Douglas coming into the near post. And Douglas with an opening chance here. And off the line. Incredibly by David Jones. Well, Douglas missed the best opening, but Jones got it off the line from his own defender. As Fairclough put the ball over, Douglas took the shot, knocked back by the goalkeeper's legs, and then Jones just cleared off the line. Jones to Patton. Oh, Smith in there with a wicked tackle. And Smith is the one who saw it. This neighbor is a dazzled run. And Martin Peters. Peters again. Martin Peters beginning to warm to his game now. As Neighbour, first of all, had a fine, jinky run. It comes to Martin Peters. His first shot is blocked, but on the volley, has another go, which skids past Ray Clemens right down post. Sullivan. In for Gibbons. Peters on the right there is Bond. Gibbons is going down the right flank. Across comes Hughes there. Bond is still with him. Four players in the penalty area, not deep enough. Peters picks up. Through for Suggett. Patton. Suggett. It's a lovely goal. And well beaten there. Colin Suggett, the man who's pushed up front to give them extra firepower in an emergency, does the trick after 17 minutes. And the man who gave him the return pass there was uh, Graham Patton. But it all came, first of all, from Martin Peters when he picked up that loose ball. Played it through nicely. A return from Suggett to Patton. Goes for the return again and just gets a chance to knock his shot wide of Clement's left-hand post. Leg in there just as Patton comes to it. Neighbour. Now Liverpool coming back fast. Neighbour's on his way. Hughes is beaten for speed. And again, Jimmy Neighbour and wasted. Oh, what a thrilling sight, though. He started three yards behind him, pushed it ahead, and then went. And, of course, then when he got him at full stretch, he'd only got to turn him, and he was lost. But then he wasted it with that pass. Givens, better control that time, but not such a good back pass. Peters is in there challenging, but it's picked up by Doug Leash. And that's a free kick conceded by Martin Peters as Doug Leash got away from him. And, in fact, Norwich City got the ball as it was played forward. Tommy Smith has come up. Thompson is there too. Dalglish can he turn? McDermott's in there. And Kennedy's through here on his good left foot. And, and Norris said he were wide open there as Kennedy inched his way through on the left-hand side. He seemed to have opened them up as the ball was driven across the face of the goal. And Fairclough coming in fast, couldn't quite get it cleanly with his right foot. Neil is back behind him for the short kick. Johnson is coming in on this one. Flicked in. Johnson got there. And it was off the line. This time by Colin Suggett. The corner knocked over. And it's uh, Peters getting that one away. As that corner came over, it was flicked back. Johnson was coming in on a run, but sucked it on the line, knocked it onto the bar, and it was eventually away. But now at the other end, we've got more trouble as Neighbour goes down again. And Dennis Smith going over to speak to Ray Kennedy for that particular foul, and his name will go into the book. 
Hughes again. Suggett is in there. Out to Neighbour. Nobody there for the far post cross yet. Now they're coming into the area. Gibbons, but is coming for. Pick that one up. Martin Peters really gets some special goals, but none more special than that. When that cross came over from Jimmy Neighbour, Gibbons looked as if he couldn't get it. It was just knocked out to Peters on the edge of the area, the right foot volley, bingo. It's 2-0. And Martin Peters chalked up another great goal and his sixth of the season. Although Liverpool have been able and willing to throw men forward and create trouble for Norwich City in defence, now their task is a huge one. They're trailing by two goals to nil. Highway's going to get up for that. And it's Peters to clear. Highway still going. Kennedy a good one. It's a brilliant save. Kenny Dalt Leach can't see many saves like that from his headers. A fine cross from the left. Dalt Leach does the right thing. Heads down and powerfully to the left of the goalkeeper, but he gets down so well. Fairclough having a go at Bond. Past him. Jones is here. Past him. Fine run by Fairclough. Players coming to the near and far post. Here's McDermott. And another save by Keelan. How does he do it? Well, a marvellous run by Fairclough. He pulled the simple ball back to Terry McDermott. He didn't hit it too powerfully, but it was accurate enough, and Keelan had to get down well to the left-hand side. Players backing off a little bit. Jones coming to him. Kennedy trying to turn, finds Johnson, Sullivan's out with him. And Jones away. Suggett, cases in there well. Up goes Jones, Kennedy wins it well. And that's a great header from Phil Thompson. Beaten at last and beaten with a very, very good header by Phil Thompson. Indeed, it is his third goal in a week, in three games. But as the cross was fired over by Case, up went Kennedy, it was a good challenge. Thompson up there with a diving header, just looping it past, Keelan in off the post.